The term secretion is used to describe the movement of a protein out of the cytoplasm. A gram-negative cell has a number of destinations for secreted proteins. Secretion systems move proteins into the inner membrane, the paraplasm, the outer membrane, or outside the cell into the surrounding environment. Special export systems are required to move hydrophilic proteins through the hydrophobic membrane barriers. Let's examine how proteins are delivered to the inner membrane. As a ribosome translates a protein destined for the inner membrane, the first part of the protein to emerge from the ribosome tunnel is a very hydrophobic region called a signal sequence. A cytoplasmic structure called a signal recognition particle, or SRP, quickly binds to the signal sequence. SRP, which is a complex of RNA and protein, essentially paralyzes the ribosome. SRP delivers the stalled ribosome and its nascent protein to the cell membrane, where SRP binds to a membrane protein called FTSY. Although some proteins spontaneously insert into the membrane, most use a general secretion complex composed of three proteins, collectively called the SEC-YEG translocon, embedded in the cell membrane. In this process, SRP dissociates from the complex, prompting FTSY to deliver the signal sequence to the translocon. The newly made membrane protein may have many membrane-spanning regions. These hydrophobic regions, 20 to 25 amino acids in length, are important because they're compatible with the hydrophobicity of the membrane itself. The hydrophobic regions move laterally out of the complex and into the membrane. The looping may occur many times, considering that many transmembrane proteins have as many as 12 such membrane-spanning regions, which weave back and forth across the membrane.